In this experiment, we will investigate the composition of inks using paper chromatography. Firstly, we must define our origin by drawing a line using a ruler roughly one centimeter up from the bottom of the chromatography paper. This must be done in pencil as the pencil is insoluble in the water solvent. We will then define the area in which we will place our inks and label their respective colors. Following this, we will place a concentrated spot of our soluble inks at each of the defined areas. The spots should be placed a reasonable distance apart, as during the experiment the colours can tend to run, and this will prevent inaccuracies during the results analysis. We will measure a small volume of the water solvent into a beaker. This must be shallower than the 1 cm at which we place our origin line. To prevent the chromatography paper falling over during chromatography analysis, we can place a paper clip at the top of the piece of chromatography paper and use this to hook to the top of the beaker during chromatography. Once the paper is placed into the solvent, chromatography will begin. It is vital that the solvent does not pass the point at which the inks were placed on the origin line, as at this point the solvents would dissolve any of the soluble inks that were on the line. This time-lapse video shows how the inks are separated over a period of 10 minutes. Once the inks have moved roughly two-thirds of the way up the paper, you should remove the paper and allow it to dry. Using a pencil, you should now label your solvent front. This is the point at which the water solvent moved up the paper and stopped. Our chromatogram is now ready for analysis. To analyse this, we need to determine the RF values of the spots. To calculate the RF value, we use the equation distance of the spot travelled divided by the distance of the solvent travelled. These values can be determined using a ruler and measured directly on the chromatogram. For each of the different coloured pigments, we take the peak point at which it has risen up the chromatography plate. With our values determined, these can then be used to calculate the RF value for a particular spot. These can then be compared against a reference spot or other spots in the chromatogram sample.